In my teachings, I've emphasized the profound value of prayer as a way to draw closer to God. Prayer is a conversation with our Heavenly Father, a direct line to His loving presence. It's not about impressive words but about a heart-to-heart -heart connection. You don't need grand gestures or complex rituals. Find a quiet place, close your eyes if you'd like, and address God as your Father. Begin as I did, Our Father, who art in heaven. Prayer is a place to share your feelings openly. Bring your joys, sorrows, and hopes to God. I once said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Start with gratitude, just as I did when I multiplied loaves and fish to feed the hungry. Thank God for his blessings, both the daily bread and the spiritual nourishment. Don't hesitate to confess your imperfections. Remember my teaching. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Seek God's forgiveness and offer forgiveness to others. Share your needs, but align them with God's will. As I prayed in Gethsemane, say, Not my will, but yours be done. Trust that God knows your needs even before you ask. Seek God's guidance in your prayers, for I taught. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Surrender your desires and seek His divine plan. Remember to listen in prayer. Sometimes God's answers come as a gentle whisper. Find moments of silence to hear His voice in your heart. As you close your prayer, seal it with trust and faith, saying, In your name, I pray, Amen. Believe that God is working in your life. Prayer is a profound gift that deepens your relationship with God. It's a way to embody my teachings of love, compassion, and faith. In prayer, you find not only answers but also peace, strength, and the presence of God in your life. May your prayers be a source of profound connection with God and a beacon of light to guide you on your spiritual journey. God bless you all. Don't forget to subscribe to receive more divine wisdom and blessings.